Hi and welcome to this tutorial on infrared spectroscopy. We're just going to have a look at adipic acid, which is a, a aliphatic uh, dicarboxylic acid, as you can see here. Okay, quite a linear molecule. So just looking at the molecule, if you thought you'd made this or you're uh, testing it as a starting material or something like that, then you'd be looking out for carbonyl stretches for this this region here. You'd be possibly looking for hydrogen bonding in the infrared as well because of the OH there, carboxylic acid slides hydrogen bond with each other and with solvent, so look out for that. And of course we've got the CH stretches and stuff like that. So let's have a look at the infrared spectrum and see if it meets up to uh, what the structure says. Okay, so we have uh, very broad um, signals here. Again, I mean, that, this actually starts at 3600 all the way up to 2400 which is, is quite indicative of um, hydrogen bonded OH it, it is very broad in this in this particular case and if we click on some of these signals there we are if we look at this signal here I've just clicked on this region here you can see the OH stretching let's see if I can get the vectors up as well there we are Ooh, quite a big vector on that one so that's the to just showing the direction in which it travels. Okay, so the next one here, this nice little sharp peak here is interesting. If I can get it. It's not, it's not wanted to play this one. There we are. Okay, so if we look at this one. It's, it's better with the vectors on, actually. You can see it's a nice symmetric straight. I don't know why you can see that very well. You might want to just zoom in on this region. But it's a nice symmetric stretch there from the CH. Um, hydrogens. We try and get a good angle for you. So they're going in and out both together. So it's a symmetric stretch. See if we can get a, a symmetric stretch. Oh, that's another symmetric stretch by the looks of it. There'll be one here somewhere. What have we got here? Okay, that looks like an asymmetric stretch. See if we can get bigger vectors on there. Yeah, so you can see one vector is going inwards, one vector is going outwards. There. Don't worry too much about the terminology of me saying vectors and stuff. It's just the vector is just the direction in which the uh, atoms are traveling, really, and the major contribution to that, the magnitude of it. It's just really on, on these 3D models, it just helps you to see that one's symmetric and one's antisymmetric or asymmetric. Okay, so we've got the CHs, we've got the hydrogen bonding. And the last thing to do is have a look at this fella here, this uh, this about 1683, there we are. I'm guessing that's probably the carboxylate, or the carbonyl proton. Not the carbonyl proton, I've lost my mind. That's a carbonyl functional group. Okay, and there it is, you can't see it too well. Let's see if I can get bigger vibration, there we are. That's good. Okay, so there you are, a nice carbonyl group, the little tiny contribution from that OH as well, according to what it says there. Okay, and the rest, the rest of the stuff is just in the fingerprint region. So we've got some um, wagging there, so we've got the, uh, it's like a wagging, Let's see if I can make that a bit bigger as well. Not really, but you can see with the arrows, you can see with the vectors there that it's going backwards and forwards like that, along the axis. What's this one do here? Oh, this is good. This is a nice twist. So one's going one way, one's going the other. And that's pretty much it, really. And again, we've just got little different types of twisting going on there as well. So this one's a rock. You can see that one's rocking in that direction like that. And these are doing some funny rocking. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's uh, dipic acid. Really, the things to note on this even though I've, I've enjoyed myself looking around this molecule a bit too much probably, is look out for the car, um, carbonyl signal, look out for the, um, uh, the, the broad signal there from the uh, hydrogen bonding, and um, obviously if you've got some CH stretchings, have a look for them as well. The fingerprint region, again, you just, you're just going to find uh, these little um, twists and, and, and wagging of the CH2 groups and they'll be dependent on really the length of this chain so that that fingerprint region will vary according to how many carbons you've got present so that's it for now bye for now <laughs>